Rock stars often take their equipment very seriously, and it's rare to see a developer doing the same, especially when it comes to keyboards. This is Bjorn Stroustrup, inventor of C++, using an HHKB. So just like these two legends, take your equipment seriously. Years ago, I was working as a developer in the video game industry, and one day I came across one of the developers uh, that was working for this company that I worked for, and I looked over his shoulder, and he was doing this thing where he was hunting and pecking and looking for every key he was uh, uh, typing as he was programming. And to this day, it remains as one of the most pathetic things I've ever seen in my career. If you have one of these ridiculous membrane keyboards, you have three options. Okay, the first option is sand the labels off the keyboard, the second option is paint over the labels, you know, so if you have a black keyboard, just paint it black. And the third option is just get a mechanical keyboard. I cannot tell you how important it is to not have labels on your keyboard. It is probably the single most important thing to do as a developer. Okay, we're typists. It's all about developing your muscle memory. If you have labels, you will not be able to develop muscle memory. You should never look at your keyboard ever. And if you have labels, it just causes you to look at the keyboard. So don't do it. Get yourself a mechanical keyboard or sand those labels off or paint them or whatever. Just do not have labels. The thing that I like about mechanical keyboards is that they're meant, I mean, there are so many mechanical keyboards that come in blank. And that's really what you want. You can always also change the keycaps to whatever you want. Cherry MX keys are made for that. Mechanical keyboards, especially uh, Cherry MX mechanical keyboards have all the options in the world as far as like keycaps. Just make sure that you don't have any labels on them. That's the most important part. Okay, so let me just tell you some of the issues with mechanical keyboards. You know, at the, at the top, we just have a regular membrane keyboard. On the bottom, this is the mechanical keyboard. Now, one of the issues that you're going to find, especially with Cherry Brown MX keyboards like this, is that they are loud as hell and you will annoy everybody in your vicinity. So you can forget about taking it to work. Another problem that you're going to find with a keyboard like this, this is a full size 104 key keyboard, is to go from the keys to the mouse is like crossing the Atlantic Ocean. It just takes way too much time. So what you can do instead is you can get a 10 keyless keyboard. This is a keyboard without a numpad. You know, you can change the keys, everything, same thing, uh, except it's just going to be a lot easier for you to move between the keyboard and the mouse, which you do constantly if you're a programmer. Even though both of these keyboards are Cherry MX Browns, the one on top is much louder than the one on the bottom. The one on the bottom is called the Magis Touch Filco. And if you want even more quieter than that, you can get a Cherry uh, Silent Switch, which is usually in red or black. But just do some more research on that. Now, after messing with a 10 keyless keyboard for a while, I noticed that uh, going uh, from the arrow keys to the letter keys took too long. So eventually I got a 60% keyboard and that's an even smaller keyboard. And to use the arrow keys, you use like a function button. It's way more efficient. Another thing to keep in mind that a 10 keyless keyboard versus a 60% keyboard, um, it's also nicer to, to use the 60% because going from the mouse or you know the trackpad uh, to the keys is a much smaller distance too. Now just to note, the keyboard on the bottom is a different switch than the one on the top. The one on the top is a Cherry MX Brown. The one on the bottom is a Topre switch. And this is an HHKB keyboard in black. And it just has like a different sound. It has like a thock sound, like a T-H-O-C-K, thock sound. It's like, it's just different. I'll let you hear it. For me, I eventually moved to Topre because the Cherry just sounds, it's a little bit too high pitched for me. I kind of like the thockiness sound of the Topre switches. Also note that the Topre switches has like a different feel to it. It feels more substantial, whereas the uh, Cherry switches, they just feel lighter and, and almost like a cheaper feel to them. Like the Topre switches, they feel almost like you're, you're, um, you're typing on like, you know that computer in aliens in that movie like the the mother like i don't know it just feels 
it feels like you're typing on some kind of sci-fi high-end equipment. However, after you mess with the HHKB Black Toe Prey keyboard for a while, it's just a little bit too loud, especially for a workplace. You'll probably annoy people as well. And that's why I got another HHKB White Type S, Type Silent that is. And it's just a little bit quieter than the other one. Now, in reality, the Type S is much quieter. I mean, right now I have the microphone on full gain, and so you might hear it a little bit louder than it actually is. Uh, I've had this keyboard in workplaces and cubicles, and nobody ever complains about it. In fact, a lot of people say that it has like a very soothing sound. So it's, it's actually a very quiet keyboard. My main keyboard is actually a Type S right now, and um, I just like it. It's soothing. It has like... Um, Kind of like the sound like you're typing on clay rocks or something. I can't really explain it, but it just has like a nice soothing um, feel to it. I actually bought two, so one I can use at work and one I can use at home. It's just that everybody's remoting right now because of the pandemic, so I, I just have two at home right now. Now I'm just going to go ahead and play with all the different keyboards so you can have an idea of what they sound like. Basically, membrane, mechanical, cherry, MX browns, and topre switches. Now, ever since I was about 13 or 14, I always had blank keyboards. I never had labels and I never will have labels. It's just, it's the worst thing you can do to yourself as a programmer. I highly recommend that you get blank keyboards. I'll show you how, how fast I type. This is just my typical speed. I can actually go up to about 140 WPM, but that's my like my max or whatever but but yeah you could just get a sense for what it's like and um, you will improve your speed if you get blank keyboards nothing makes time pass or shortens the way like a thought that absorbs in itself all the faculties of the one who is thinking external existence is then like a sleep of which this thought is the dream. Under its influence, time has no more measure. Space has no more distance. 126.